Hi, this video is all about the Relay Controller app. That's this window here. And this app lets you control equipment that's connected to the relay board that's then connected to the PC. So here I've got a two switch relay board. Here are the two switches with the terminals. And on this side, we have a USB port and that connects to the PC with a USB cable using this type of cable. And the way to connect your equipment is to take the neutral through the switch and the live straight through to your equipment. And obviously you can connect as many pieces of equipment as you like to the switches. So the question is, where do you get these boards? Well, if you search for USB HID relay on something like eBay, there are plenty of them. So here's a typical one. Here's a one switch relay and a two switch relay. Now the one and the two switch relays tend to be USB powered, so they don't have their own power supply. But if you go to a four switch relay or an eight switch relay, they tend to have uh, separate power supplies. So there are plenty of places to get them and they're very, very cheap devices. Here you can see £1.20 for one. So in this video, I'm not going to be connecting any equipment to my board. I'm just simply going to be plugging it in and controlling the switches with the Relay Controller app so you can see how it works. Now, the nice thing about USB HID relay boards is that they do not need any drivers installing. So you can simply plug them into the PC on a free USB port Windows will recognize them and automatically enable them for use. Now, if you look at the app, it's actually prompting me to connect a USB HID relay board. So I simply have to plug it in. So let's do that. So you notice now that the power is on, on the board, and you can see in the app that it's recognized that there's a board connected and it knows it's got two switches. So it knows the name of the board and it knows how many switches it's got. Now, when you run the app for the first time, it will automatically create you a new schedule. Now, a schedule is a series of triggers that will let you control the board at various times of day or days of week. And you'll see that in a minute. So what it's done here is it's created a schedule with one trigger in it, and it knows that there are two switches on this relay board. So let's have a go at controlling the switches. I'm going to turn switch one on. So I enter the word on there, and let's just test this trigger. You can see it's turned on this first switch. I'm gonna stop that again. So I can test this trigger here. Let's turn them both on. Let's try a few more commands. I'm going to wait on the first switch for two seconds, and then I'm going to turn it off. I'm just typing in the commands here. So let's uh, do the same with the second switch. And let's play that. Okay, let's drop that down to one second. And then I'm going to wait another second. I'll just control switch one for now. I'm also going to set it to repeat. Let's try again. So now that, that will now repeat until I stop the trigger. Okay, let's try number two for 0.5 seconds and off for 0.5 seconds. I'll also repeat that one and let's watch what happens. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn on the switches at a particular time. So I'm going to start by clearing this back off and saying that when this schedule runs, both switches will be off. I'm now going to add another trigger 
and I'm going to set the time to well the current time is 1423 I'm going to set this to 1425 which is already set to I'm going to choose switch number one and I'm going to turn it on I'm then going to add another trigger time 1426 switch number one turn it off I can now play the whole uh, schedule starting at the top with this large button so here we go you can see that the schedule is running and it's highlighted in white saying that the first trigger event is playing and it's just turned them both off it's now waiting for 1425 and when 1425 occurs it will turn switch number one on as you can see I now have to wait until 1426 and it should turn the switch off and as you can see it's now turned the switch off at 1426 okay let's stop this schedule running I can save this schedule now if I'm happy with it so let's do that save let's call it test one and I can obviously come back and open that schedule at another point in time and play it okay let's try some examples let's say I want to sound an alarm at nine o'clock in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon on Monday to Friday and I want the, set, the alarm to sound for say 10 seconds maybe three times so how would we do that well I'm going to start a new schedule now for this particular example I'm only going to need one switch so I can ignore switch two so let's add the first trigger after the starting trigger and I want that to be nine o'clock so we put nine in there zero zero and I want the switch to be on for 10 seconds then off for say four seconds and I want to repeat that three times so at nine o'clock the light will come on for ten off for four repeat three times and then that will be the end of that trigger so how do I make it happen on Monday to Friday well I choose day and I tick these check boxes so let's just test that this works first of all so i'll go for playing it it turns the switch on and that should stay on for 10 seconds and then it will turn it off for four seconds and then it turns it back on for 10. now i'm not going to wait here but it will do that three times and then it will stop in fact let's just slow that down a little bit I'll turn it on for two and off for one so you can see what happens so this should just come on and off three times let's try it so we know that trigger works let's put it back to 10 and 4 and I need to do the same at three o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll just add another trigger, set this to 15. And the same thing. And we also set repeat for three. And that's it. So if I play this now, what will happen is that the schedule will wait until nine o'clock, at which time it will turn on the switch for 10 and off for four, and it will do that three times. And then it will wait till three o'clock and it will turn switch one on again for 10 seconds and off for four seconds and repeat that three times. And it will only do that on Monday to Friday.
Now, another point to mention here is that the triggers can control single switches or multiple switches. Now, at the moment, each of triggers two and three are just controlling switch one. But I could add another trigger and I could set it so that I can control both switches. So, for instance, I could have, again, turning switch one on at, say, 1700 hours. But at the same time, I could set switch two to flash on and off every second indefinitely. Let's just see what happens there. So let's say I want to do that for an hour. So if I add another trigger and make that 1800, I can then turn them both off. Now I could also make that only happen on a particular date. So let's go for the 26th of March, 2021. Now it's not easy for me to show you this, but what will happen now is that on the 26th of March at 1700 hours, we'll start the switches doing this and it will stay doing that for an hour when it gets to this one, this trigger, and it switches them both off. So as I hope you can see that it's quite flexible here. You can have as many triggers as you like and you can control the switches in any combination that you like. And as long as the Relay Controller app is running, then it will perform the actions and the commands based on your schedule. Some other things to mention, it's possible to change the order of this list, although it's not strictly that necessary because these events, these triggers will fire at the times indicated but it might be useful just to group things together. So for instance, you highlight one, you can move it up and down the list. It's also possible to alter the working switch count. Now I'm working with this two switch relay, but you might have an eight switch relay. So you can simply change the number of switches that you want to work with and as you can see it's now extended out to have eight switches per trigger i'll put this back to two because or i could have four for instance or back to two so you can set that to uh, match the number of switches on your board you can also delete triggers so if you're not bothered about this particular trigger click on it when it's blue you can delete it there are a few settings to consider. You can choose to turn all the switches off when the app starts. You can start the app minimized and you can turn switches off when the app closes. OK, that's it for now. Uh, this is version one of the, the Relay Controller app. I'm looking to add more features to this, so if anybody has any suggestions or ideas, just uh, email me and let me know, and I'll be happy to add them. Okay, thanks for watching.